In this video we will convert our lights from this into this. If you don't know what I mean, just stay with me. For this video I am creating a new Unity project using this 3D with extra template. This will basically implement post processing stack using built in render. So we don't need to implement it separately. So let's set your project name, location and click on create. So I have opened up Unity and for this demo I am using this low poly street pack. I have set up a very simple scene using Unity's built in render pipeline. This scene has a direction light uh, which is mainly acting as moonlight with 0.5 intensity and a default post process volume with color grading and bloom and everything is already applied. This bridge is already designed as a prefab in this package and this street light is from street light package. So let's see how we can actually turn on this light. So first of all we need a light source. For that I'm going to use a spotlight. So right click light and create a spotlight go to the top view and place this under this light then move the light just underneath this street light then increase the spot angle something like this and also increase the intensity all right now we have light coming from this street light but still it's looking like it's off so how do we actually turn this on to do that first go to this material And you see that this is the actual texture for the street lamp. So select your texture, show in explorer and open up this texture with Photoshop. And now just select this light texture, control J and set everything to black except this light texture. Then press control L and slightly increase the brightness of this texture. Okay. Then save this texture as matte underscore emission map. Okay, so now we have this emission map, then select your material and in the emission slot, enable this checkbook option and drag and drop this emission texture in the color slot. And you see immediately our light texture is a bit more bright, but it's still not glowing. So how do we make this glow? Click on this SDR checkbox and first select the color you want to give this light. For example, such a like little bit yellow and then increase this intensity. I think two is fine and now you can see our light is now looking like an actual street light. You can turn on off this option via skip if you are doing a day to night conversion. And by the way make sure to keep this bloom option enabled otherwise your light will not glow. Now let's see how we can do the same thing in HD render pipeline or universal render pipeline. So now I'm going to convert this scene into HD render pipeline. If you don't know how to convert the scene please watch my previous video in which I have explained the whole process. And here is a quick tip for you. If you are converting your project from built-in render pipeline to HDRP or universal render pipeline, make sure to first remove the existing post processing. Because the HDRP and URP has its own post processing stack and this default post processing does not work with URP and HDRP. All right, now I have converted my scene into HD render pipeline. You can see it has the same direction light and a post processing with bloom on it and a basic sky egg for setup. Okay, so this is the same spotlight from built in render pipeline and right now it's looking very dull because the default intensity doesn't work with HD render pipeline. HD render pipeline mainly work on real world intensity. So let's quickly fix this spotlight. Uh, click on this gear button. This will bring on some more options and enable this reflector option. This will basically make this spotlight more focused on this area and now increase the intensity like 2000 lumens. I think this is fine. And now the light intensity is looking good. Let's also repeat the same process for this light texture to make it actually look like a light. To do that, go to its material and in the emission slot, drag and drop this emission texture map. Then click on this HDR button and set the color same like before. And also increase the intensity to make it actually glow. Now our light is also looking perfect in HDR under pipeline. You can basically repeat the same process for universal render pipeline as well. So that's a quick tutorial on how to improve your lights in the scene. You can also use the same process for light bulbs, candles or any light emitting source. If you want to see more videos about lighting and render pipeline then please support me on Patreon. Link is given in the description. And before wrap up I would also like to thank Hannah Sinkonan, Adam Smith, Anton Konomplianchenko, Dimidu, 
Nicholas Gennady Korta, Dan Mizu, and Tiago Mesuchin for supporting me on Patreon. If you have any queries, you can always ask me in the comment section or you can join my Discord server. Link is given in the description. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.